Здравствуйте, comrades. Today we're doing the Navy. Let's get down to it. So I played Blue Wave on Charlotte. Uh, it was great. Um, I got third. Uh, it was fantastic. Um, I really liked it. Mm, I played this deck. I only lost a Jose. <coughs> this deck is really dumb and really good. So let's get down to it. First of all, it's obvious you're playing Blue Wave. You're playing, you know, Anger Boy. I will refer be referring to Anger Boy a lot. Tetra Ball, sorry. <coughs> Spoilers, you play Anger, Anger Boy. So, first of all, our starter, the Blue Wave Dragon Dagger Master Draco King. Uh, this guy is the Blue Wave starter made for Blue Waves. It's a Generation Break 1, CB1. Shoot him into your soul, your Vanguard gets two skills. It gets a wave two or more, so it means second battle of a turn or more. When the shield attacks the Vanguard, draw a card. It can trigger multiple times. And the fifth battle, you will get that quit. Uh, it works super well with this guy. Uh, for a trigger lineup, we play a crit for draw for heal. Uh, your heals are going to be whatever you want them to. Uh, this is not Carolina, even though she is cute. It should be Carolina. Why? Because Carolina. For draws, I use Malika because it has an effect. It matters slightly. It's better than a vanilla. Uh, for crits, we use four supersonic sailor, which is the put into soul on flip something. It's good, situational, but good. Um, then four crits that have no discussion and you should be playing four of them. The Blue Wave Soldier Brut Brutal Trooper. Uh, it has a skill that shuffles itself back into the deck to give your Vanguard, if it's a Blue Wave, a skill that says, wave two or more when the chain attacks a Vanguard, draw a card. With this guy, it means that you draw two cards. If you can, you can stack them. So if you put three triggers back, you draw six cards that turn. That's dumb, to say the least. All right, now for a grade one lineup, we go three Bells Bell Siren Station, or she can attack from the back, gets 3k if she does so. Uh, get, it's great to get extra strings into, and it takes rid of, you know, gets rid of regards. Super good. Then we have the Wingle Soldier, um, when you, when it's called to rear, so so, so plus one, three thousand to something, and wait for more when this boost you bounce it. It's really good to boost up or due to V stand or stations to hit vanguards. Solid card, and if it bounces itself, that's better. Uh, three copywriter Nikki or stride footer. Your deck revolves around striding. Uh, I mean, not say it. Um, two blue wave soldier bright shooter. This little guy here. He has a skill that says wave. Uh, four or more when the unit boosts. Uh, you get choose a grade three blue wave from your graveyard and put it in your hand. Free, it makes this guy free. Just advantage, advantage of school. And finally, in perfect guard, four Pashal. Uh, you don't really don't need the flip, and Pashal is good against Dotex and Deep Police sometimes. Uh, otherwise, it's a solid choice. For grade twos, we go. Three Magnum Assault, three standards for power are needed for our big guy. And on that note, four titles. Three is free, the card's actually nuts. And then the card that actually I'm going to display here is four, um, four Blue Wave General Phoebus. Phoebus has a skill that's only activates on the third battle of a turn, only on the third, that you counter plus one. And he gets a dozen more power and he will restand at the end of that battle. So it helps get all the requirements for this guy and it's actually a very solid card. But he only works with blue wave bankers, so you need to have a blue wave. Uh, for a great three lineup, for blue wave dragon, Tetra Drive Dragon, he has blue wave in his name. That's about it. Also, limit break. You never use it. Slightly. And the new guy of the blog, Blow Away Dragon, Anger Ball Dragon. This, are, this is the one we want to ride. Um, this guy has a skill that says if you ride Tetra Ball Dragon, this ride, uh, he gets a skill that restands two things and then um, 
the well, the, the strike gets rid of some power. You restun two dudes on the second battle of a turn, and those dudes will get 3,000 more power, and it only works in the second battle of a turn, but that's fine. Uh, because our dude only works in the second battle of a turn as well. Uh, to play this deck, you really need to sequence your attacks well. You, you need to be like thinking what the order you're attacking. For strikes, we go in first with two Storm Inhibitor Commander Tabas or Generation Rare. Uh, why Tabas? Because Aqua Force has no better first strike than Tabas, honestly. Um, you could use, you know, the On Head or Socrates or Podromos, well, not Podromos, but Socrates, Aristotle, I don't know, any of those. Um, honestly, I like Tavas because he's free and he may, uh, having a Duke Swing for back for 5,000 more is sweet. It protects the dudes from being swung at. And he's free, again, you're never using to use his generation bank 3, it's all about his free skill. Uh, two Lambros. Uh, this should be your finisher stride. If they're going to Lambras, the game has been really, really long and you're trying to kill them with Lambra. I mean, honestly, Lambra is just too good, but this deck has the luxury of saying, this is my backup stride. This is my plan B. Finally, here's our plan A. Four copies of Blue Wave Dragon. We're like Martial Dragon, Tetra Boro Dragon. For those that have no idea what this big guy does, he says, Combat 1 and Persona Flip, flip himself up. Uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a heart with Blue Wave, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets Drive minus 1 and Wave 4 times only. At the end of the battle, that your rear guard attack of anger, you may pay the cost if you do a stand this card. So he literally says on the fourth attack of that turn only, if you ring or sign a vanguard, you score a card and press the hero stands. So he combos out well because with this guy you go rear guard, that's one. You have to have the riggers. Number one, swing. Number two, swing with the break string and anger ball. Stand the dude on your strong one. Check two. Number three, swing. Number four, swing. This card. Number five, swing. Uh, that nets you a lot of cards. Also, this guy is actually neutral, unlike most freestanding strides. This guy doesn't cost any cards because you discard one and check four. So that means you end up with three more cards, which is exactly same now as a normal strike. Um, for how to play this deck, you build a field, you try to get as many of these as you want in your hand, you put them all on Tetra Boil, uh, and then you go in. It's all about this guy comboing off for an infinite advantage. Uh, your star starter combos off with this. I once did starter two crits. Um, I drew six cards per turn. Plus a check, so that makes it eight cards. And I had a bright shooter, which means that the card I discarded for this guy which was a, another one of a copy of Anger Ball, I got it back. So I netted like 10 cards and killed my opponent. With rigor standing, this deck is really strong, really, really strong. This deck is a combo deck that you just are throttling around then just only explode on your opponent. And when you do, you win. Uh, it's very hard to come back. You have to beat it before the second strike. The second strike just kills people. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, soon enough, you will see some there, uh, some games on this deck. There's one already uploaded where I got double created by Nate. Thank you, Nate. Uh, but otherwise, this is my blue white deck. This is what I got for and state. I know you guys have been claiming for this. And in the Navy, you can sell the seven seas. That's Vidania. Until next time, comment, rate, just subscribe, share, yell at me, flame me, tell me my deck sucks, take me my deck rocks, I'll, I'll like it all, I will read every single comment. See you guys next time.